Hello everyone, this is your boy Jcat. Today, I will be teaching you a secret of mine. Now, I know it's been a while na nakapag-upload ako ng tutorial video about editing. But today, I'll be teaching you a new one. A secret of mine that I use whenever I use Warp Stabilizer, which is a built-in effect in Premiere Pro. Now, I know meron sa inyong naka-experience na na every time you use a Warp Stabilizer sa mga shaky footages niyo or clips or videos, there is this wobble or warping effect which is not good but I will be teaching you how to avoid such thing from happening I have my footage right here in Premiere Pro this is a proposal that I shot and edited last year as you can see tracking shot siya. the camera is a little bit shaky and at the same time the couple is walking Let me start by applying the warp stabilizer and its default settings As you can see right now, after having the effect, there's some sort of warping that is happening. Right? Medyo nakakahilo siya. Instead of making the clip stable, parang nagwa-warp siya. There's warping and there is wobble effect. In this case, we will try to minimize it by changing settings in the warp stabilizer effect. Unfortunately, in this case, even if I change the settings, still, meron pa ring wobble effect. So in this particular situation, yung ituturo ko sa inyo is the masking of this moving couple or subjects. Basic na basic lang po siya actually. And at the same time, magki-keyframe na rin tayo. This is how you do it. Just click on this opacity part right here, the effects control panel. You can see three options. You have the circle, the square, and the garbage mask. So I will choose the garbage mask and then I will be masking out this couple. Actually, this is just a basic part right here. Just masking it out. Not really doing a perfect mask, but just doing a rough mask. As long as you are covering the couple. After I mask out, uh, I just check uh, if there are masks that is not properly done. We will just adjust the mask. Now after masking it out, nest the clip. Then after nesting it out, then you have to apply the warp stabilizer. After applying the warp stabilizer, here is the result. Now you can also tweak the settings but I am just sticking with the default one. So, so far the result is decent enough and it's better than the first one which is the wobbly or the warping one. 
this one right here a side-by-side -side comparison of the original footage and the warp stabilized footage using masking another one this is the side-by-side -side by the warp stabilizer without the mask and the warp stabilizer with the mask or with the masking so I guess that would be all for this tutorial if you find this video helpful please do not forget to subscribe and that would be all bye bye